What's happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Today, I have an exciting video planned for you guys. We are going to be talking about a brand spanking new knife, a brand new version of this knife, and I am stoked to do it. So in front of you, we have the Kubi Veloce with the flamed tiger stripe titanium handles. And we have the Kubi Ruckus in its most premium form up until a week ago. So I did an unboxing of this knife and it was ruined because of the audio. And the audio was not picked up by the microphone. I just got a new lavalier microphone and I was trying it out and it worked fine and then i went to shoot that video and it didn't work at all and it also didn't work for a members video that i just did so now i have to shoot this video with no unboxing and i have to redo the members only video as well so sorry i am robbing you of the unboxing experience the knife was ordered through KubiKnives.com. Straight from them, I was able to get a smoking hot deal on this knife, a huge percentage off the knife, and it was a steal, like $110, $115, which once we delve into this thing, it is a amazing, amazing deal. So we'll start back here. This is all titanium. It has had that flame anode done to it, just like you see here on the Veloce. You do have a titanium deep carry rollover clip that is reversible. And at first I was like, oh, they didn't recess the clip. But I actually prefer that, especially with this one, because look how much cleaner that looks with no recess in the scale. And there's plenty of clearance there to put this in pretty much any pair of pants that you could want to. Uh, so completely fine with that. Sharif, you did another outstanding job on another model. Uh, this one was phenomenal in its own right. But this just takes the cake. Uh, the detent on this one is at least one and a half points stronger than this guy and this one's like mediocre this one is perfect uh ridiculously perfect it's stout it's good you can fire it out the action is even better on this one and it goes so so good with the veloce in the same exact pattern same form you're getting blue anodized titanium hardware. Another backspacer. I love my backspacers and Sharif must as well. You're getting a geared titanium backspacer, almost full length. I'd say that's two thirds quarter or uh, two thirds uh, backspacer, which is freaking just awesome. That blue just shines with this anodizing pattern. The Veloce came in S90V. The new Ruckus comes in 20CV. So that is for $110, $115, guys. 20CV, all titanium with an anno, with titanium hardware that's been anode. I mean, that is an amazing, amazing deal. You do have steel liners, which I'm completely fine with. Uh, steel is good to go in my book. Uh, and it keeps the price down. Completely fine with it. Uh, this thing is a banger. They have several different versions that you can get. I opted for this one just so the Veloce had a matching brother. And boy, do they go very, very well together. 
I love this flame pattern. It's a little different on both of them. Uh, I'm not sure if it's different per model or if they have the same pattern per knife or how that works from Kubi. Either way, it is awesome. I'm sure it's probably the same similar pattern done by machine maybe. Uh, not 100% sure on that though. You do have a sandblasted blade on all three. We will be doing a in-depth overview of this ruckus in particular because it is such a different knife than this one. I mean, completely different materials, completely different feel. This one does have some weight to it, and this one definitely has some weight to it. That copper bolster definitely adds some weight to this guy. Uh, but I do not mind a little bit of weight at all, especially when it comes to having the backspacer or not having it. I would 10 out of 10 times, all right, maybe 9 out of 10 times prefer a backspacer. There are times where I don't want to carry a heavier knife and I'll take something that's a little lighter. Uh, although you could do like a carbon fiber or aluminum backspacer and still keep it light. But anyway, open construction, uh, one out of 10 times for me. I would much rather have the backspacer. It just gives you so much more comfort in the hand. Uh, way, way different than an open construction knife, in my opinion. Uh, the scales won't be digging at you near as bad with a backspacer and the way they have this rounded and chamfered there you can see the chamfer along the side of the scale nicely rounded uh very well finished absolutely exceptional great pass through to that liner it's been jimped i mean this you know that's why i love the ru original ruckus because they nailed almost they nailed everything with the exception of giving a premium option and here we go this is just amazing i absolutely am in love with the ruckus and now i'm even more in love with this thing sharif just killed it again i hope they do the momentum in a premium version that would be just awesome uh something very similar titanium liner lock the front flipper the studs and then give us s90 or 20 cv or something like that uh i would be all over it in a heartbeat uh the budget form of the momentum is phenomenal uh, the, this isn't really budget. It is, but it's not, it's like 80 bucks. So that's crazy. I paid 80 for this and 110 for this. Now you won't always be able to get these for 110, uh, cause they retail for, I think close to 200. So there was a discount code for these through Kubi. I know a couple people that did snag one. Uh, and get the discount on them on it uh, and it is a hundred percent worth the 110 it's worth the 180 190 no question it is exceptionally well finished all the way around pocket clip is done very well you have that slight cant so that won't be digging into your hand uh, you have sandblasting on the 20 CV. It's not bead blasted. It is sandblasted. A little different process. Sure, I would have rather had a stone wash, but I have had no issues with anything that's been sandblasted. Bead blasted, on the other hand, I've had all kinds of issues with it. I don't really buy much bead blasted blades anymore. Sandblasted, though. I've been willing to give a try to again and again because I have not had any issues with it thus far. So I am so far so good with the sandblasted blades. Uh, I don't know why they don't just stone wash them though. Uh, I don't think it would cost any more or less to just 
throw them in the stone washing machine and call it a done deal. Uh, but this finish looks good and it doesn't seem to give corrosion issues. So it's fine with me. And the crazy thing about this knife is when I unboxed the Veloce uh, two weeks ago or so, I say in that video, man, it would be awesome if they did a premium version of the Momentum or a premium version of the Ruckus. And literally a week later or less, Kubi announced the premium Ruckus and I was all over it. Uh, it came from China within a week. I waited six weeks for the Kun Wu to get here from China. So Kubi, thumbs up on the quick shipping from China. That's impressive. Under a week, uh, I think quite a bit less, well, about a week, about five business days, I would say. So that's pretty good. Maybe even four business days. That's very, very good. Uh, FedEx delivered. Since you didn't get to see the unboxing. Uh, there will be a full overview of this guy coming up. Maybe we'll do some comparing and contrasting amongst the Sharif knives. Amongst the momentums. Uh, definitely expect a lot more content on the ruckus and ruckuses to be coming soon. Review would be several weeks out from this point, at least on this particular version. I'm assuming it's going to do very, very well, though. It seems to have a pretty good edge on it. Let's check that edge. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Woo that was just me. This thing came with a great edge on it. That's just me also. That's just me. Yeah. When you can barely hear it cutting the magazine paper or telephone book paper, that means it is screaming sharp. So it's in between sharp and screaming sharp, I would say. Kubi has always done a good job on their steels, a good job on their edges. Kubi is one of my all-time favorite knife companies because they offer so much in so many different price ranges with a ton of different materials. I love Kubi. I mean, they have $40 knives. They have $200 knives. They have all kinds of different handle materials. Kubi does an exceptional job. They work with good designers. Uh, nothing but good things to say about Kubi. Keep it up. Keep bringing us the premium models of some of the budget knives you've already done. And keep putting out premium new models as well. Because uh, I absolutely love these titanium knives with premium steels. So, so good. That'll do it, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. If you have any video ideas that you would like me to do, Leave it in the comments. I will write it down. Give you a shout out. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.